Hey, beautiful souls. Hey, beautiful souls. Hey, beautiful girls. Hey, beautiful guys. Welcome back. I'm Divinely Destined. Welcome back to another video. Happy Sunday. I pray you guys are having a fantastic holiday week in weekend. If you are new here, please take a minute, beautiful one. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Yes, share the content. If you're looking for a personal reading, I am available. Yeah, we have the sun in Cancer, so we are in Cancer season. Yeah, Leo, I'm hearing the name Leslie. Leo season is coming up next, and then we have Virgo, Libra, Scorpio. I believe Sagittarius, Beta Capricorn, closing out the year. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and start the message, okay? First thing first, you have been manifesting, dear one. Dear one, you have, I'm hearing the name Darwin. You have been manifesting. So this week, make sure that you get ready. Get prepared for all the blessings that you have coming your way, honey. Expect favor, mercies, you know, situations actually going in your favor. You may be 22. Number 22 is a master number. Yes, also, be prepared for, you know, possibly <laughs> someone coming in the next few weeks or the next upcoming week to you for sexual reasons. Or if you have a sexual connection with someone, be very careful at this particular time. Please use protection no matter who you're sleeping with, you know. If, especially if you're not married, you know. If you're married, that's different. But, hey, I don't know what you got going on going on in your per personal marriage. I'm speaking to single people or people that are dating around at this particular time. Please be very, very vigilant and very careful about who you sleep with. Use protection because I see the energies of possibly someone coming towards you, towards you, collective. They may have an STI, spiritual transmitted disease, or a sexual transmitted disease. They may have a sexual addiction. They may be a cheater, unwilling to be faithful. You don't want to get your heart broken. You don't want an STD. You don't want an STI. So please be cautious in who you open up to <laughs> sexually, emotionally in the next few days, few weeks. Okay, guys, because that energy is here. You are in the process of manifesting. So you always got to be careful for those little slippery snakes that like to try to get in when you okay like like Denzel Washington said okay he said it best when you're at the top that's when the devil comes for you okay so be cautious be vigilant yes I hope you have a fantastic holiday if I haven't said it already if I haven't said it already you know as you focus on all the wonderful things that you have you're actually clearing a path making room for more blessings to be bestowed upon you yes 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 dear one 888 okay you may be 25 years old i also have angel number 25 you have a great ability you have a great ability loved one to take in and process information on both the conscience and subconscious realms your curiosity your curiosity is endless beautiful one and you know what your desire is to dive deep into a variety of subjects. It brings you immense awareness. It makes you super intelligent and wise, okay? You are abundant. You are you are abundantly intelligent here. Use your intelligence to make you make you more abundant if that makes sense, you know? Perhaps you you have something that you're especially good at. Use that to help you get forward, okay? Yes, I'm going to go ahead and tap a little further, a little further into your particular message. I'm being called to take one more angel number here, okay? We got angel number 13. Yes, you are a conscientious worker, honey. Yes, very conscientious worker with a knack for coming up with creative ideas. You know, your, your ideas are pretty damn dope here, collective. You are very, I'm seeing that you are very optimistic or you... You know, you have the capabilities of being. Are we always optimistic as human beings? Hell no. Sometimes we could be very pessimistic. But for the most part, it looks like you're, you know, you try to stay optimistic here. And I hope that you, you know, I hope that you, you consciously choose to be optimistic no matter what happens, honey. Choose, choose to focus on the positive, although it can be very trying at times 
when we have to deal with negative experiences, honey. Keep that optimistic, optimistic attitude, okay? Keep that. It's going to help you get to where you need to be, okay? Because, you know, optimism is good, okay? To be hopeful, seeing that, you know, things can still go good no matter what is a good trait to have. I see that you're coming up as someone that's very determined and on track. And you're working steadily towards your goals. Congratulations. Wow. Excuse me, beautiful love buds. The universe is certainly recognizing your hard work, your dedication, and your due diligence that you have showed other people. Okay, we got the Six of Cups. I'm hearing the Six of... The Six of Pentacles. That's Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Energy. Yes, prepare. The universe is saying, hey, prepare, prepare, prepare. Some of the things that you have been manifesting are on the way. Make sure that your arms are open wide to receive, okay? Yes, you may be in the security field or the security industry, okay? Maybe that's something you'll be good at. You may be in the legal field, okay? Justice coming out next. Mm, I see a Gemini. I see a Virgo, Libra, and a Leo. So far, Taurus on the board. Yeah, this is just simply your time. It's your time, darling. When it's your time, it's your time. Ain't nothing gonna stop it. The universe is saying, hey... You have cultivated good crops. Expect to get a good harvest. I spoke about it yesterday. Yes, expect a very powerful harvest. It looks like you're going to be exceedingly and abundantly over overfilled or overflowing with abundance. Yes, you deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. <laughs> someone, okay, someone could be married, but they are obsessed with you or fixy, uh, fixated on you, okay? This person could be your twin flame or a soulmate, okay? Could be your co-worker, honey, your neighbor. They married, but they got a thing for you. I see that energy here. It could also be someone is newly divorced and or single, and they got their eye on you. Meanwhile, the universe is bestowing so many blessings upon you. Yes, make sure you stay focused on your goals and the best possible outcome, you know, for you in your particular situation. The universe is guiding you. We got the six of coins and the six of swords. That's spiritual guidance. Yes, listen to it, okay? Listen to it. When you're driving in your car, you hear that voice say, be careful. Listen to that. Your guides are with you. They are guiding you. Some of you guys are relocating. It's part of your, your mission here on Earth. Point blank period. To travel the world, possibly. Or at this specific time, okay? It may just be time for you to relocate. It's part of the, I'm hearing it's part of a contract, okay? It's just inevitably, it's just time to relocate. Point blank period. Yeah. I'm hearing you will no longer lack. You will no longer lack. We got the four ones. Further indication of a relocation. Yes, 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 yes. Congratulations on your new home, your new car, your new condo, your new place. Congratulations on your new job, okay? Congratulations for helping helping people out when you didn't even have it. The universe saw that, okay? They saw that. Okay, also the universe saw the nights that you cried. Okay, the angels, the ancestors, the spirit guys, they saw you crying. They seen your stressing. They seen your anxiety. They seen the worry. They seen all that, okay? Yes, they have seen it all. Remember, your angels, your angels, they've been with you since birth. Okay, before you came into this world, your angels were assigned to you. That's my opinion. You may want to go research it, or you may have your own opinion about it as well here. But I do know that they have been assigned to you, and they're going to stay assigned to you. Mm, we got judgment. Somebody's relocating. Point blank, period. Possibly the next four months, six months, there's going to be a re relocation. Yes. You've been, yeah, that's, there's that number four. <laughs> four again. Eight months. Someone is going to be relocating. Somebody is out of a relationship or a marriage. Or somebody is stressed out in a relationship or a marriage today. Okay, they hiding it though. They may be hide they may be hiding this stress and anxiety behind I'm hearing a beer bottle. Okay, they may be drinking, drinking to cope with their unhappiness in a relationship. We got death. That's Scorpio. Okay. <laughs> You don't have to hurt no more, okay? You don't have to hurt no more. I feel like a soulmate is trying to come in a reading here to say, hey, look, I'll be there for you. He hurt you. Okay, there's a soulmate energy here. 
coming up in this particular message here. Okay, a soulmate or a twin flame, but I feel more of a soulmate type of energy. Remember, the soulmate, the twin flame is the highest level soulmate, highest level soulmate. So this could be a, soul, a twin flame, okay? Yeah, I feel like this could be you, you know, your higher self, talking to your twin flame saying, hey, you don't have to hurt no more, okay? That shit is over. I will be there for you. I'll be what you're looking for, okay? You could be communicating this and then in the higher realms with your twin flame tonight, okay? You know he's going through a stressful time. You know she's going through a divorce or a breakup or she's not doing so good in the relationship. Your higher self is always communicating with your twin's higher self. And I feel like you are communicating that it's going to be okay. You're going to be okay. You know, I'll take care of your heart. There's no need to worry here, okay? I feel like you are communicating with your twin flame. They are communicating with you in the higher realms, okay? Yes, in the higher realms. Remember, you guys are spiritually connected. <laughs> I'm also hearing, it's simply time to relocate, darling. It's time to move. Yeah, it may be time to change jobs. It may be time to put in that two weeks notice. Two weeks notice. It may be time to put that application in to purchase that building you've been scouting out to open up your own shop or boutique or something like that. Yes, it's just simply time for certain things to happen, okay? Mm. I'm hearing fundamentally and elementally time for something, okay? So this thing, I'm hearing contract once again. It's just certain things that happens in our... There are certain things that are in our birth chart, and there are certain times for certain things to happen in our birth chart to play out. So there's certainly something that's meant to play out here. It's already written in your birth chart to play out, if that makes sense. Yes, <laughs> we got the sun. Yeah, mm-hmm. You may be pregnant, Quibble period. There's a spirit baby that wants to come through to say, hey, mommy, hey, daddy, I'm here. This spirit baby could be a Pisces. This spirit baby could be a Scorpio. They could also be a Taurus here, okay, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. The spirit baby wants to say, hey, mama, hey, daddy, don't forget about me. I know you guys are not together, but I know you guys will be together, and I will be conceived here, okay? The spirit baby has a message. Yeah, we got the two of cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Pisces, energies coming through. Mm. <laughs> the universe seeing you crying over a twin flame. The universe seeing you crying over a soulmate. The universe seeing all those nights you were worried about him, stressed out over her, mad at them. The universe know. Okay. Mm. This person has also, when I say this person, your twin flame is also... They've, they've, they've hidden a lot of love. They, they pretty much have not expressed the depth of how they really feel. The depths of how they really feel for you, man. It's unfortunate that they haven't thus far. But that don't mean that they won't. You're being called to continue to cultivate and um, work. Okay, don't give up. Or don't, don't get lackadaisy just because you know the blessings are coming in. Or you know, the, you know that you know, the manifestations are coming in. That does not mean that you get laser or lackadaisy, beautiful one. That means you continue to cultivate, get better, get stronger. Yeah, I'm feeling like now you can, yeah, especially if you know you have been manifesting money. I feel like the money is going to come in at a right time to help you take care of yourself, take better care of your family, do some of the things that you've always wanted to do, but you was not financially able to. I'm here to take a vacation here. Yeah, you're coming up as nine of coins and the three of coins, <laughs> okay? Yes, you may be a famous YouTuber, okay? You may be a celebrity. You may be someone on the uprise, okay? Yeah, you're, you, you're on the uprise here? Yes, congratulations here, dear, okay? <laughs> we got the Ace of Coins, the Nine of Coins. It's like your twin flame is literally watching you be bestowed and blessed tremendously financially, spiritually. You're just popping out right now. It's your time. You're sitting in the emperor energy, okay? Your masculine, your twin flame, they seem to be sitting in the empress energy. You've taken on more of the masculine energy, or he, yeah, yeah. I feel like if this is a male, your twin is a male, I feel like he's in a feminine energy. I feel like you're in the masculine energy here. He's watching you. It's like you're getting, con not only your twin flame is watching you, but I'm hearing contracts again. There may be people that want to work with you, and they are noticing your business, your website, your profile. They are, no yeah. They are noticing you. Like the twin flame wants to come through and say, hey, 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 
don't forget about me. Don't get too don't get too far out there where you forget about me. Yeah. Okay, he wants to protect you. I feel that energy. But look at him. He's coming up as the devil, okay? The devil obsession, okay? Yeah, he has a thirst. He he has an unquenchable thirst and desire, sexual desire for you. Okay, it's just off the charts. You you have an unquenchable thirst to rise to the top and you are doing just that. Okay? It's like you're not tolerating it with the seven of wands. Yeah. <laughs> you may be rebuffing and turning down any sexual advancements at this particular time. Yes. Mm. I see if you're twin flame, if if especially if this is a male, okay? It looks like he may have a karmic that is watching you, but he's your twin flame is watching you. If that makes sense. She feels left out, okay? Yeah, because I feel like he's obsessed with making a life and a future with you at this point. She's not too happy. The karmic is coming up as someone that feels left out and abandoned. And she's she's stuck in her head at this point because she knows that the situation and the relationship is over between them. And she knows that the masculine wants to offer you his cup. Okay, she knows it. The twin flame, if he's married... If he's not married, whoever he was late, whoever the whoever the person that he was latest tied to, okay, entangled with, <laughs> this particular person knows about you, and they know about how the masculine truly feels, okay? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's pretending the karmic is pretending like everything is okay, everything is fine. She's still holding on to the possibilities of maybe rec reconciliation with him. Okay, but the burdens and the stress is pretty great on her at this particular time. She knows the masculine has plans to move forward with you. Or this is what she's feeling. This is what's coming up in her energy. Okay, she also knows that you are financially abundant and beautiful. You're healing. Okay, she sees this. She knows it because I feel she's been watching you as well. Okay, yes. <clears throat> she feels the peaceful energy that's currently going on in between you two. Okay, I feel like he's calmed down a lot. At least he's had to put that front on like he has, okay? When it comes to you, okay? He had to he had to scale back a little bit. And yeah, that's very noticeable. I'm picking up on the karmic energy. She's crying and she's weeping and she's not happy. We got the eight of wands. Yes, if you have a online business or, you know, a boutique or a shop where people can purchase goods. I'm here in an SD shop or a website. Expect to get more clientele. Expect to get more business. Expect to get more people wanting to know about your business and your services that you offer, honey. Yes. <laughs> yeah. She may be looking for the masculine. Looks like the karmic could be searching for him. She's pulling up on him, crying and shit, making a scene. Oh, my lordy. That seems to be the truth. It looks like he have her blocked or he's emotionally closed off, but she seems to be spying here, keeping a very close critical eye on him. Yeah, she's coming up with someone that's very dominant here, okay? She may have ruled him. She may have worn the pants in the relationship, okay? He may have... I, I picked up on... <laughs> I picked up on the masculine being in the feminine energy here. It looks like the karmic is in the masculine energy. She's coming up as someone that probably controlled him, okay? <laughs> mm. You're coming up as someone that has... Powerful new beginnings, new opportunities, new ventures, new things. Some of you guys, I picked up on a soulmate. Point blank, period. You have manifested a king of coins, king of pentacles type of energy. That's a stable boss daddy, boss mama type of energy that you have manifested here. Yes. Hmm. I feel like the universe said, hey, you do your part, we'll do our part. You have manifested a hardworking, loving individual that may be suffering your soulmate, okay? He may be suffering with some heartbreak and devastation because of an ending of a, a third-party situation as well, okay? Yes, we got the Seven of Cups. You got options there. Even if you think you don't, you do. And it looks like the masculine, your twin flame, is prepared to put up a fight for his beautiful Queen of Wands, okay? It looks like he knows, he knows your masculine, your twin flame. They know how powerful and special and beautiful you are. They see the attention that you're getting and I'm here generating at this time. They see that the doors are opening for you. They see that you have climbed that ladder, that ladder to success. 
I'm hearing something about a letter, L-E-T-T-E-R. He may have a letter that he has written to you. There may be a letter coming in the mail. Now, it could be a documentation or some shit that you may find or he may get to you, okay? This could also indicate an email, text message, okay? We got the Hierophant. <laughs> you got a powerful legion of female ancestors watching over you. Powerful. Okay, perhaps you have a mother that crossed over. She was a Leo. You got a grandmama that crossed over. She was a Taurus. You got an auntie that crossed over. She was a Sagittarius. Okay, you got a, uh, you know, a great auntie. Perhaps she was a Virgo. Excuse me, beautiful souls. Their energies are coming through here. Yeah. You are, re excuse me, <laughs> beautiful ones. I'm sorry about that. You are refusing to be someone to be put on the bottom. Okay, no. If you got to choose between me and them, choose them. This is what the collective is saying, okay? Yes, you're getting more balanced, okay? Or your emotions are going to be more balanced out. Or you may, you may need to get your, your emotions um, more under control this week, okay? Get, I'm hearing gear up, get ready, <laughs> okay? A soulmate is coming, a masculine is coming, okay? You're, when I say masculine... Your twin flame is coming, or you got to hear about him, or he's coming, okay? Or soulmate is coming. There, You're going to have to choose. There's going to be some choices here, okay? I feel like your twin flame is going to put up a fight. Look at you being rewarded. Look at you getting the key to the city. Look at you getting that music contract. Look at you getting that audition. You won the part for that movie. Look at you getting that new job, getting that new car. Look at you, okay? Suddenly, your divine masculine is going to be in your face. He don't mind starting no shit, it looks like, okay? He's keeping a very keen, close eye on you. It looks like some things have certainly been finished out in his life, okay? You're, or her. You're coming up as the high priestess, very spiritually gifted, <laughs> and a queen of cups. You may be hiding how you feel, okay? You may be so sweet and soft and sensitive and juicy and loving and tender and caring. But they may never know it because you may have a hard shell, okay? But your lovers know. When they date you, when they sleep with you, they get to experience that loving, tender side. Woo! Yes. You're walking on sunshine. Okay? But they watching you. Okay? When I say they, there's at least two people watching you. Okay? There are at least two. Possibly a soulmate. Possibly a twin flame. Watching you. You may even have a stalker or two. Some fans in the background keeping a very close eye on you. Yes. <laughs> yes. Divine Masculine, he's coming strong. It looks like he's definitely completed out a cycle here that was devastating and very hard on him or her. Take the reading how it resonates. I'm going to go ahead and close out this particular message. Let's just close it out. Okay. Mm. Let's see. I regret walking away. I wish I knew what I knew now. He wish he would have, you know, this could be an ex-boyfriend or ex-husband too. Ex-wife. Doesn't have to be a twin, okay? Whoever this person represents for you tonight, honey, they got some regrets about walking away. Mm, they had to learn some very powerful lessons. And they couldn't do it with you, okay? Sometimes the best love is tough love. And sometimes you got to let people go. Let them see for themselves here, okay? Mm, let them see for themselves. He's coming up as desperate. Okay, or she, they learned their lessons. They see that the grass was not greener on the other side. They probably, they, yeah, I'm hearing her name, Charlie. <laughs> this person probably thought that, you know, they had better options, but you were the best option. You were the best option. Yeah, they get, now they, now they can't believe it. They, they sitting back today, shocked. Or maybe not shocked, but at the very least, they are definitely feeling the effects of not having you in their life. They went through some tough lessons by betraying you or crossing you. They had some tough karma that got, you know, they got smacked with some harsh karma for what they did to you. Yes, mm-hmm. They definitely got the smack down. Mm-hmm. Never cross a divine being. Never fuck with a chosen one, Okay. It's always bad for your health. <laughs> yes, we got coldness and the unseen. The universe is saying, hey, closing out this particular message in the next couple of weeks, days, the next couple of months, be very, very, very particular about who you allow to get close to you emotionally and or sexually. You may have someone or someone's coming, 
coming towards you, okay? But these people, or this particular person, okay? Yeah, could have an STD or STI. They could just be emotionally cold and closed off, okay? Or it could be the vice versa, okay? This could be a twin flame or a soulmate coming in and, and you're, you're cold and uninterested or emotionally not invested or you won't be because you know what? You gave these people a chance, okay? You ain't turning that hand of time back. You're moving forward, looking for new beginnings, new opportunities, new ventures.